play. A title that makes 12-year-olds giggle. It's NBA Ballers. Adam Sessler versus Shaq Zilla. And warning, games you should never buy. We're almost out of trust on the friendship meter. It's game time. <laughs> Hot out of the oven, it's your co-hosts, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Fresh and toasty. Hmm. Welcome to X-Flight. On today's show, we have basketball games with questionable titles. And the first fully voice activated game for those of you too lazy to use your hands to press buttons. And Yu-Gi-Oh, because as long as we exist, they will keep making Yu-Gi-Oh games. So we have to play them. Thanks. But that's not all. We have Shaquille O'Neal on the show. That's right. Me interviewing Shaq because I'm not insecure enough about my height. Oh, but most importantly, a very special segment you and your family must watch. Today we show you games that you should never buy. Games so bad they could even kill you. Or can they? You'll have to watch to find out. But we kick things off with a new game from Midway. Here's our preview of NBA Ballers. Ballers? Yeah. <laughs> Enter the high ticket lifestyles of the NBA greats. A universe where people will do anything to get near the heat of your burning pile of bling. Don't think you can walk right in, however. There are rules. First, you'll have to get past that big ball bouncer and prove yourself worthy of weighty balling prowess. Take a gander at your raisins, pilgrim. Are you holding what it takes? Your stones will start as pebbles when playing in the rags to riches mode. You'll rise through the ranks of the hood's greatest opponents in one-on-one -on -one matchups with play-by-play -play honors covered by MC Supernatural. Get ready to locate the fire escape. Sack up, hoop fans. Overcoming verbal abuse is half the battle on the adversarial road to the booty of the rich and material. And in the ghetto, love don't do the dishes. The gameplay leans and dribbles towards the excessive physics of the arcade. Like NBA Jam, she'll post up with outlandish trick moves, jukes, and celestial slam dunks. Stylish strategy and successive buckets are rewarded by your baller's briefs bursting into flame. A new development has you passing to a dedicated posse member off-court, who can then feed you at the boards for a sky-bruising alley-oop. There is no blingle without the jingle, so your bank account better be fat with cash before you go to the well of plenty. Cars, cribs, special moves, and people. Yes, even people can be convinced to populate your sideline, dissing the competition, reducing the grapes of the fruit of their hoops to raisins. Ring the pain. Play mechanics and ball physics are rendered well as multi-trick combos play smoothly against fairly static backdrops. But hey, you're applying your skills at the Tim Duncan family compound to end the Kevin Garnett estate. There's so much adjustable detail in player creation mode that your eyes will begin to cross with option tweaks. You'll have to see for yourself if sneaker selection does anything for your game. The game contains acres of visual blingle, cutscenes, player profiles, and a party and tour of a house you weren't invited to, hosted by this tiny torso glitterette. I'm gonna go mingle and get my dreams on. Come on. There's even this dude showing that the game is not about poking fun at an old guy trying to get jiggy with the lingo. We saw what could be one of the most outrageous car collections ever at C Web's crib. Ballers, your game has almost arrived. Look for it to hit the planks and asphalt of a console near you. Okay, this is basically a one-on-one -on -one update of NBA Jam, but it certainly plays way better than that game ever did. And as you build up your character and your crib, you can go online and let other people check out your bling to show how good you are. Which probably beats showing them the pizza strewn living room you're actually living in. So, you know, you'll see the full review when this one comes out. Now, however, X-Play presents yet another shameless celebrity interview. That's right. I went down to Los Angeles for Microsoft's XSN tournament and a little one-on-one -on -one with Shaquille O'Neal. And let me tell you, Barbara Walters has nothing on me. Yeah? Hello and welcome, Passive Sports fans. We are in modest West Hollywood at the House of Blues for the 2004 XSN World Championships. After weeks of competition with the sports games on Xbox Live, they winnowed down the competition to these top competitors, and what's at stake today is $25,000. That's a lot. 
two stalwart competitors will face off in a winner-take-all battle royale. The game, NBA Inside Drive 2004. The contestants, Flip Dog and Hockey Stud 29. Was 1 through 28 actually taken? Uh, no, I know. That's just my number. And awarding the giant $25,000 novelty check, NBA Inside Drive cover star, Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq! Mr. O'Neal, quick question. Um, what did you think of Shaq Fu? And eh, we'll catch him later. No. Who are you? What's the nation? East. Oh, he's East. Oh, he's East. Oh, yeah, with the West, baby. <laughs> with such a ringing endorsement, how can Hockey Stud 29 possibly lose? As the rabid fans and mass media crews looked on, Flip Dog showed himself to be a rock in the face of competition, rocketing to an early lead in the first quarter. All right, so at the end of the first quarter, it's 28 to 19. The second quarter proved no different with go-to guy Antoine Walker making it happen for the plucky E-Squad. Alan Drake watch the game. It's 44-38. Let's get the second half going. $25,000 on the line. But hope was not lost, as our man Hockey Stud brought out the big guns for the second half. The big man smelled me and went for the kill. Ah, there he is. Mr. O'Neal, Mr. O'Neal, just a moment of your time. Damn! But even the big man himself wasn't enough to stem the onrushing Eastern Tide. Flip Dog dominated both the offensive and defensive games, and crucial missed free throws cost the Western Wannabes a shot at the title. At the end of this epic struggle, I am proud to say that I and my fellow journalists comported ourselves with grace, with dignity. Well, dignity is one thing, but this is one reporter who's not afraid to mix it up to get the big interview. Now, when you're looking at playing basketball, the what it's like to playing video games, how close does it come now to what the actual experience is? It's real close. You know, the guys are, you know, guys are doing the moves that, well, actually, in a video game, the moves are, you know, similar. You know, the shooting looks the same, the dunking looks the same, everything's good. Do you play with the large Xbox controller? I mean, does that still even, like, like fit comfortably in your hand? Uh, I play with, uh, I play, I play with the small one because I have children. So I have children that they don't understand. Like, yeah. You're not snapping it with your hands or anything like that. Great. Go Thank you very much. Man. Shaq, we're going this way. That's right, you other media guys. If you're coming into my house, you better be ready to sacrifice for the big score. Shaq, he's right here, man. He's right here. Omar, please, man. Please, five more minutes. The majesty. The pageantry. Really, what we saw here today was a plucky young underdog from North Carolina sit on his ass and take home $25,000. Wow, it's good to know we have a lot of journalistic pull in the industry. Well, you're just jealous because the only basketball player you got to interview was from the L.A. Clippers. Yeah, well, I also got to interview Angelina Jolie. How come you got that interview with her and the pillowy lips? And yeah, that's exactly hips. why. And that space between... Up next, voice-activated gaming in Lifeline. Clark like a dog. Middle dog? Ah! Two people whose Wookiee was killed by butterflies in Star Wars Galaxies, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. That, that still Does he have to bring it up again? Welcome back to X-Play. Now, there have been a lot of games with gimmicks in them. Mm, yeah, like track and field for the Nintendo Entertainment System and that power pad thing that went with it. And full motion video in Night mm, Trap. The presence of the Olsen twins in any of the Olsen twin games. Yes, but now we have the first fully voice activated video game. That's right, you use a USB headset your sweet, sweet voice, and that's it. To most of you, this will either sound very exciting or very stupid, but which is it? Find out in our review of Lifeline. Our nation's economy will rebound. From this, our first space station developed entirely on our own. This is the run-of-the-mill survival horror beginning to Lifeline. You've got to rescue people. That idiot. Solve the mystery and fight things. But this time, you're trapped in a control room. This is the game's twist. See, this little honey in the unfortunate apparel, you get to tell her what to do using the PS2 headset. Finally, my efforts pay off. Talking More or less, you're taking the awkward text-based commands of King's Quest and get to talk to the game like an idiot. Hello? Let's take a look. Case. Are you talking about this? Yes. Yes. Front. So I should run. No, okay. don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Stop. 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 No, don't run. Shh. Stop. Uh -huh. Guest room one. Guest 
Guest room one. Yeah. Okay. Way to go. Yeah, just stroll. Take your time. There's no monsters anywhere. See, the voice recognition technology well, isn't, what's the word? I'm um, good. I'm listening. Oh. And that's before we've looked at combat. Let's check in. Get up. Get up. Body. Body. Oh, maybe my aim is bad. Yeah, your aim is bad. Red eye. Red eye. Red eye. Not the chair. Red eye. Run right. Isn't there a better target? Yes, your head. Yep, Stop pretty it. much the crux of the game doesn't function Ed. right, which unfortunately sinks Ed. the game right along with it. Hit the target. No, Ed! You can give him credit for taking a chance, huh? but it doesn't pan out. Come on, bark like a dog. Little dog? Arf! Arf! Or big dog? Woof, woof. Well, sometimes. My fantasy's oof, oof. notwithstanding, a two big dog. out of five. Huh? Big dog. Forget it. There's no point in sitting down. <laughs> what amazes me is that she's so stupid. You have to tell her to shoot the monster. And you know, apparently if you say no enough at the time, you know, enough times at the beginning of the game, she's going to shoot the camera in irritation. Yes. Now, frankly, I wanted to shoot the game at the end of this review. Mm -hmm. It's incredibly galling that when the girl actually listens to your commands, she can't understand them. Let's just go to break. What? Let's just go to break. So, I should run. Let's go to break! A Come big on. break or a little break? Not funny! Uh -uh. Later in the show, we will be showing you three of the worst games we have ever played. These are games you should never, ever buy. And if you value your life, your sanity, and your wallet, you must see this segment. Or you could die. Or not. But you won't know until you watch it. First, however, we have Yu-Gi-Oh! for the Game Boy Advance. Wait! Before you change the channel, let me remind you that an astounding number of people play the Yu-Gi-Oh! card game. It's an international phenomenon, which is sad, but my point is, millions of people can't be wrong. Or can they? Here's our review of Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004. If you haven't heard of Yu-Gi-Oh!, you're so not cool. Just kidding. Yu-Gi-Oh! is a super crazy popular card game that's also a video game. And let me tell you, knowing how to play the game could get you out of some jams. A fun game of Yu-Gi-Oh? Well, I've never played before. Oh, it's easy. Draw five cards. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four. Well, look at that. I have all the parts of Exodia, the Forbidden One. I win. Go play Big Rig for an hour. Poor guy. If he only knew how to play. So, here's a little tutorial. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004, and it's not much different from last year's Stairway to the Destined Duel or any other Yu-Gi-Oh! video game. But at least the interface is different. You still have to use card attacks to take down your opponent and get his life points to zero. Fans of the game will notice more card variety, but not much else. So let's get back to the tutorial. Cards like Blue Eyes White Dragon, with a description like, Very few have faced this awesome creature and lived to tell the tale, means you want this card. As you can see, the duels are compelling for Yu-Gi-Oh fans. But seriously, the duels and battles are slow as hell, especially when you have to answer these yes-no prompts. Here's a big change. On the bottom left-hand corner of actual Yu-Gi-Oh cards is a number. In previous games, you could input that number to automatically get that card. That feature is gone in this year's Yu-Gi-Oh! game. I know, I know. We feel your pain. Basically, you have to play longer to get further in the game. Great! Fans who already have any previous version should just stick to what they have. X-Play gives Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004 a 2 out of 5. I think this should be enough ammo for intern boy to confidently bust Adam. In the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, huh? Adam, you cheated. You are a bad host. Bad host. Bad host. You play Big Rig. But it, but it sucks. Well, yeah. Oh. Let me tell you what. Our audience demands dynamic, action-packed gameplay footage from X-Play. And we deliver. And with each pulse-pounding flip of those 32-bit Yu-Gi-Oh cards, we felt a little more of our audience quietly slip into unconsciousness. Well, wake up!
because when we come back, we have a segment that you must see. Yes, we are going to be showing you three of the worst games of all time. Games so bad that when you play them, they could potentially melt your face like the Nazis at the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark. If they caught on fire, yeah. which they could. Mm -hmm. So don't change the channel, don't move, don't breathe, because you need to see what we have to show you. Up next, we warn you about games you should never, ever buy. Don't be afraid. Now, with Static Guard, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Oof. Welcome back to X-Play. Let's get serious for a moment. Serious as a heart attack. Which bad games can cause an elderly or morbidly obese gamers? Yes, we have carefully combed through the X-Play vault which is a top secret high security facility located under Adam's desk to find three of the worst games to ever hit a console. These are games so bad, you should never, ever buy them. In fact, your very life may depend on avoiding them at all costs. If you only do one thing today, watch this segment and or go to the bathroom. We don't want anyone wetting themselves on our account. Here's our expose on games you should never buy. to games you should never buy. Great job. Where we save you cash by pointing out what's truly deplorable and intolerable in the world of video games. First up is Barbie Horse Adventures. Most would likely pass this one up based on the title alone, but we're here to warn the little girls out there who might be ensnared by its barn-infested charm. You play as Barbie who goes on a summer vacation to a horse ranch with her politically correct pal. Look out, nature. Here we come. Yeah, look out for these litter-strewing suburbanites. Welcome back, girls. As luck would have it, the horses escape the very day Barbie shows up, and it's up to Barbie to rescue them. And Barbie just loves horses. You're a good girl. You're such a good horse. Good girl. As you might expect, you can change Barbie's outfits. Press the A button to choose a different jacket. Now Barbie's found the ultimate accessory. Let's make our horse look extra special. What, no horse blankets to match Barbie's gear? For shame. You can even change the horse's tail for whatever reason. I wonder how long that tail will stay white. Our horse is getting really dirty. We'd better wash her off. During your trials, you'll come across dangerous creatures like this lightning-quick porcupine. We need to time our run past the porcupine. And all horses like skunks. We're almost out of trust on the friendship meter. Run away, Barbie! Run away from the dangerous skunk! Oh. The rest of the game consists of Barbie collecting coins, opening chests, and using her cell phone in the woods. Christy, Barbie here. But she's a tough old broad. It's no wonder most girls don't like video games with dreck like this being pushed on them. Straight from the bad idea file comes Monster Garage. If you watch any amount of television, your chances of avoiding Jesse James, the gearhead behind the show, aren't good. The game takes actual challenges from the show and asks you to complete them, which means transforming vehicles into crazy contraptions. This week's challenge, take a 1968 Ford Bronco and turn it into a 1968 Ford Bronco. As popular as the show is, this game isn't gonna make any new fans. You begin by buying parts. Everyone knows how men love to shop. Once you have the parts, you can enlist the services of all-star wrench monkeys to do some of the dirty work. But you have to do a lot of it yourself. Who needs Ninja Guy Den when you can unscrew bolts in Monster Garage? Things get really interesting when you're asked to remove body panels. And the excitement becomes uncontrollable when you get to weld. Sorry, Monster Garage. The only people interested in this game will be too busy working on real cars. Last, and most certainly least, is Big Rig's Over the Road Racing. Yeehaw! Hands down, this is the worst video game to ever be released. Really? It's supposed to be a racing game, but you don't really race anyone. Oh, your competitor is there at the starting gate, but he's not going anywhere. 
At least you're sure to win the race every time. Yes, I are winner. Objects in the way? No worries, you can drive right through them. Why bother crossing a bridge when you can fall right through it? Tired of following the beaten path? Why not just leave the game world altogether? At least you can come back. The box says to get ready for CB talk and convoy roll in action. But there's no CB, or any sound for that matter. And the last time we checked, one rig does not equal a convoy. So there you have it. Games so bad we can't review them because our rating scale doesn't have a zero. Don't say we didn't warn you. Shocking. Sickening. Barbie. It doesn't really get worse than that. I hope not. Check out our website, techtv.com slash xplay. <laughs> Good night.